Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will solve problem number 61 to 70 of geometric progression. As I said in my previous video that these are easy problems and harder problems will follow late, later. So these problems are harder, but not really hard. These are still very easy problems, but harder than previous ones. Before we proceed to solve the problems, I would like to introduce an important result. The first result is a to the power n minus b to the power n is divisible by a minus b for any n in natural number set. So what we do here is we divide a to the power n minus b to the power n by a minus b. And then we write them in the form of a series with first term 1 and uh, common ratio b by a. So you can see how the terms have been arranged here. So if you multiply a to the power n minus 1 with the terms inside parenthesis, you get a polynomial. That's why we can say that it is divisible by a minus b. The second item is a to the power n plus b to the power n is divisible by a plus b, where n is any odd positive natural number. Here again we divide a to the power n plus b to the power n by a plus b and we can write this because we assume n to be odd. Since it is odd, the power will give us a minus b to the power n divided by a to the power n. That minus will get multiplied with this minus to give us plus. Similarly, this minus will get multiplied with this minus, which will give us plus. This again results in a geometric progression. And when we multiply, we get a polynomial. That's why we can say that a plus b is a factor of a to the power n plus b to the power n, where n is any odd positive natural number. The first question in this video is, express 0 0.423 with dot over 2 and 3 as a rational number. So as always, do not look at the solution. First, you should try to solve this problem by yourself. And if you cannot do it, then look at the solution. You should pause the video when I present the problem. And then you should unpause if you cannot solve it after attempting the problem. So we can rewrite this as 0.4 plus 0.023 plus 0 0.00023 up to infinity. In the fractional form, we can write it as 4 by 10, 23 by 1000, 23 by 100,000. So this 23 by 1000, we can take common and we can rewrite the series as 4 by 10 plus 23 by 1000. And the terms inside bracket will be 1 plus 1 by 100 plus 1 by 10,000 and so on up to infinity. The first term is 1 and common ratio would be 1 by 100. So the sum of infinite terms would be first term divided by 1 minus 1 by common ratio. And then we solve this to get the final value as 419 divided by 990. Problem number 62 says that find 1 by 5 plus 1 by 7 plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 7 square up to infinity. This is a very easy problem. You can see it is made up of two geometric progressions. The first is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 5 cube and so on. The second GP is 1 by 7 plus 1 by 7 square plus 1 by 7 cube and so on. So the sum would be first terms divided by 1 minus common ratios. So we have th that here and then you can see that it results in 1 by 4 and it results in 1 by 6. So the final value is 5 by 12. Problem number 63 says that prove that the sum of n terms of the series 11 plus 103 plus 1005 plus so on is 10 by 9 multiplied with 10 by 9 minus 1 plus n square. So what we can do is we can rewrite this as 10 plus 1, 100 plus 3, 1000 plus 5 and so on. So the first series is a geometric progression 
which is 10 plus 100 plus 1000 and so on and the second series is an AP with first term 1 and common difference of 2. So we apply the formula for sum of geometric progression and sum for arithmetic progression. So by solving all this we get the desired result. Problem number 64 says they find the sum to n terms of the series x plus 1 by x whole square plus x square plus 1 by x square whole square plus x cube plus 1 by x cube whole square and so on. So we can rewrite that after squaring as x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 then x to the power 4 plus 1 by x to the power 4 plus 2 and third term would be x to the power 6 plus 1 by x to the power 6 plus 2. So now we can rewrite this as x square plus x to the power 4 plus x to the power 6 up to n terms. Then the reciprocals 1 by x square plus 1 by x to the power 4 plus 1 by x to the power 6 and so on. And the third would be 2 plus 2 plus 2 up to n terms. So we apply the formula for geometric progression for first two and then for the last one it will be 2 into n. So you can solve this to find one term for these two. I have left that for you. Now we are getting into harder problems. If S be the sum, P be the product and R the sum of reciprocals of n terms in GP prove that P square is equal to S by R to the power n. So we have assumed A to be the first term and R to be the common ratio of GP. So our sum would be A into 1 minus R to the power n by 1 minus R. And product would be A into AR into AR square up to AR to the power n. So there are n terms, so A to the power n. And R to the power 1 plus 2 plus up to n minus 1. So this, the powers of R is an arithmetic progression. So from the formula, we write it as n multiplied by n minus 1 by 2. And sum of reciprocals would be 1 by A plus 1 by AR plus 1 by AR square up to 1 by AR n to the power n r to the power n minus 1. So we get the from the formula the result is 1 minus r to the power n by 1 minus r multiplied with 1 by a r to the power n minus 1. So if we divide s by r what happens is uh, it becomes a square into r to the power n minus 1. Now how did we get this result is this a will go into numerator so it is a square. Now 1 minus r to the power n, 1 minus r to the power n cancelled. 1 minus r, 1 minus r cancelled. Now what we are remaining with this r to the power n minus 1 which will go into the numerator. Now we raise s by r to the power n. So it becomes a square becomes a to the power 2n. r to the power n minus 1 becomes r to the power n into n minus 1. Now this value is nothing but square of a to the power n r to the power n into n minus 1 by 2 because if you multiply this with 2 it becomes 2n if you multiply this with 2 it becomes n into n minus 1 so this is nothing but p square problem number 66 says that 1 plus x but we have to find the sum of the series 1 plus x by 1 plus x plus x square by 1 plus x square up to infinity if x is greater than 0 now the first term is 1 and common ratio is x by 1 plus x. Since x is greater than 0, modulus of r will be less than 1. So sum of infinite terms will be 1 by a by 1 minus r which is 1 by 1 minus x by 1 plus x which is nothing but 1 plus x. Problem number 67 says that prove that in an infinite GP whose common ratio is r is numerically less than 1, the ratio of any term to the sum of all succeeding terms is 1 minus r by r. Now this is confusing language. So I'll explain how, what does it mean. If you do not understand this problem, then I can understand that English is not your mother tongue, but this, the language of this problem is confusing. So what it is asking is, it, it is asking the ratio of T 
n that is nth term divided by sum of all terms that is sum of infinite terms minus sum of first n terms you see succeeding terms would be what succeeding terms would be oh, sorry succeeding terms would be all terms minus n terms first n terms because that is after tn so that's why our ratio is t to tn divided by s infinity minus sn so we substitute the formula for all these and we get the final result as 1 minus r by r know that uh, r to the power infinity would be 0 here so that's how we have arrived at the result now we move on to problem 68 problem 68 says that if s1 comma s2 comma s3 up, up to sp are the sum of infinite geometric series whose first terms are 1 2 3 up to p and whose common ratio are 1 by 2 comma 1 by 3 comma 1 by 4 up to 1 by p plus 1 respectively prove that s1 plus s2 and so on up to sp is equal to p into p plus 3 by 2 so here we find s1 as 2, s2 would be 3 and so on, sp would be p plus 1. So our series would be 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to p plus 1 which is an arithmetic progression with first term 2 and a common difference 1. So we apply the formula to get the desired result. Problem number 69 says that if x is equal to 1 plus a plus a square up to infinity and y is equal to 1 plus b plus b square to infinity, show that 1 plus ab plus a square b square plus a cube b cube up to infinity is nothing but xy by x plus y minus 1 where a lies between 0 and 1 and b lies between 0 and 1. So we are given that x is equal to 1 by 1 minus a from the sum of infinite terms and y is equal to 1 by 1 minus b from the sum of infinite terms. So if you solve these two, you get a is equal to x minus 1 by a, x and b as y minus 1 by y. If you sum the series 1 plus a b plus a square b square plus a cube b cube up to infinity, you will get the result as 1 by 1 minus a b. The reason is since a lies between 0 and 1 and b lies between 0 and 1, a b will also lie between 0 and 1. Now we substitute the value of a and b from the previous equation, that is this equation. We substitute the value here and after solving this you will get the result as xy divided by x plus y minus 1. Problem number 70 says that find the sum to infinity for the series 1 plus, 1 plus a multiplied with r plus 1 plus a plus a square multiplied with r square where a lies between 0 and 1 and r lies between 0 and 1. So to solve this problem we multiply and divide with 1 minus a. So the first term becomes 1 minus a by 1 minus a. The second term becomes 1 minus a square by 1 minus a into r. The third term becomes 1 minus a cube by 1 minus a and so on up to infinity. We take out 1 minus a common. So now the result would be 1 plus r plus r square up to infinity minus a into 1 plus a r plus a square r square up to infinity. Now we apply the formula for infinite terms sum of a GP and then we solve this to arrive at the result at as 1 by 1 minus r into 1 minus a r. So with this we come to the end of 70 problems in our next video i will do 10 more problems on gp so if you have found this video informative and useful please subscribe to the channel and like the video because it motivates me to make more high quality videos for you thanks a lot for watching